Welcome back, Proofers. Today is going to be an awesome day. We are going to unbox and assemble some new hardware. Alright guys, like I said in the intro, today we are going to unbox and assemble our new tower from Oak Stills. Alright guys, today I got this package in the mail. I haven't opened it yet. I figured I'd open it on camera with you guys. This is a two inch bubble plate column from Oak Stills. If you don't know who Oak Stills is, they are a Chinese manufacturer, but from the way the reviews were and from poking around online, I could tell that they were at least a decent manufacturer out of Hong Kong. So I went ahead and ordered this, this still column. It cost me a rate right around $250 which isn't a bad price for a reflux column with five bubble plates. So I'm gonna open this thing up on camera and we're gonna go through this together. There is a ton of tape on this thing. Looks like they did a fairly good job packaging here. Start off with this. All right. This looks like our two inch tri clamps and some fittings it looks like. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five two inch tri-clamps and it's like uh, four bubble caps so we're in business here all right guys now all this stuff is 304 food grade stainless steel and lead free copper so I, I really uh, looked into this when I before I bought it. I wanted to make sure I got something that was decent and that was going to last a long time. This seems to be, I know the package is fairly heavy for a two inch column. Looks like all of our seals in here. Yep, we got one, two, three, four, five for the bubble plates and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the two inch tri-clamp silicone seals. Oh. Now this is a lot big condenser. Wow. Alright, so this thing's heavy. Alright guys, this is just an example here. This is the Liebig condenser I built myself in the tower that I built myself, part of the tower. And this is the one that they sent me. This has got to be one inch by three eighths. No, probably one inch by three quarter. So one inch outside diameter, three quarter inside diameter. That's pretty, that's pretty stout, man. Um, and it's heavy. So there's the first piece, set this over here, a stainless here, I'm guessing this is the Liebig condenser, or the uh, deflagmator, yeah. Alright, so, That's what she looks like guys, four tubes going up through there, and these are half inch uh, national pipe thread fittings. Um, I'm super stoked to use this guys, I've always wanted one of these, I've always wanted a, a bubble plate column. I really wanted to go with a big four incher, but you know, budgets all aside, about 250 was just what I had to spend. so. I don't think I really have to untie these, but we will anyway. 
And these go on the side here. I'll kind of show you what those are for as we go. Yep. So this is a, just a, a T for your thermometer. Goes on top there like that. So yeah, they come with some some fittings here, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to use these or not. They look like nice fittings, but um, I don't have hose for them. So let's see what we got. And this is heavy. This looks like our sight glass here. Yeah, this is our sight glass. And that thing is heavy. Man, I can't believe how much that weighs. And this, it's even stamped 304 stainless steel right on it. So, take these off. Set that up there for now. Just gotta put some stuff back in here. What do we got here? Yep, these are our plates that go inside of our column. And they're pretty simple, but they include those. This might be something I want to upgrade at the in the end. And this has got to be the rest of our glass. So let's see how they packaged it here. so far I'm pretty impressed with the quality for the price so if you're looking for a decent still column guys at a decent price these guys are the way to go everything's packaged fairly good fairly well yeah that's that's the sight glass look how thick that is and that is a really nice sight class. I mean, so far, it looks like I have everything here. Um, in here, it looks like there's a thermometer. Yeah, so I have a thermometer here. The only thing I wonder about thermometer from China is if it reads Fahrenheit and Celsius here. So this does read both um, Fahrenheit and Celsius and it has an adjustment screw on the back so if it's ever out or you can adjust it to what you like <clears throat> um, so that, that'll work good for us. Um, Alright so I guess we start assembly, right? All right, guys. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is assemble my plates. <clears throat> this whole kit, nothing comes with instructions, so um, I'm kind of shooting in the dark here. But this is what it looks like. They come with these little seals, and each seal on the inside has a groove that this plate sits in. 
and inside this plate sits this little pro cap here. So that's what it looks like on the inside. This sits over top of it like that. As the alcohol vapors rise, they come out here. They're forced back under the liquid that sits on top of this for the second distillation. They slide in just like this. They sit on top and screw them back together. Now I'm assuming that these don't have to be super tight, but I am going to put just a, a half turn or so on them. Just to make sure they don't come loose or anything. Yeah, there we go. Just to tighten them up, make sure that nothing's gonna happen. So that's what they should look like. And then this seal looks like, it doesn't matter which orientation it is. There's a little groove in here that this slides in. There. There, buddy, Ellie. We got her. Yeah, so the end, it should look just like that. Now, I have three more of these to assemble. I'll do those real quick. All right, I got those four put together. They do include one extra seal. I thought there was five of these, but there's not. There's only four. They do include one extra seal um, in case you tear one or something happens. But, um, so you get an extra seal with that. That's awesome to have. We'll go ahead and put that aside. Now I think I could take this apart here and start assembling all this stuff. Now, I'm just going to use a half inch wrench, it's probably a 10, uh, but like most people that use their wrenches often, the 10 millimeter is always missing. Whew. All right, I think I got that thing fairly straight. So 
let's uh, keep plugging away here on what we have to do next. I'm not going to use these fittings. I have some of my own that I think I'm going to to put in here. Alright guys, now I got this thing as straight as I could here. I hope that it doesn't leak. Um, it's kind of tricky to try to get this thing perfectly level on both sides because each of those sides of those seals squeeze at different areas and you don't want it too tight but you don't want it too loose that it'll leak. So the next step here <clears throat> is to go ahead and put this on our still but what we're going to do is basically we're going to put this down first then our deflagnator then our copper spool for or our stainless spool for our temperature probe and then our live bait condenser on top of that and it should sit just like this on top of our keg still. So let's get this thing assembled and then we'll roll that beautiful b-roll. Alright, if you guys want to know what I'm drinking today, this is the hard apple cider that I made a couple weeks ago. This turned out really good. If you want to see the recipe and how I made this, I'll link a video up here in the top left hand corner and I'll also link it down in the description for you guys. Alright guys, I'm super stoked about this thing. I cannot wait to get the water plumbed and try it out. I have 40 gallons of sugar wash in our barrel right now getting ready to go. and. This is going to make doing that wash so much faster. The reason why this will make it faster in my opinion is I won't have to strip the product twice or three times to get a neutral out of a sugar wash. I should be able to run my wash one time through this nice and slow and get a neutral product that I can filter and do whatever I want with after that. Me, myself, I'm a huge fan of vodkas and gin, so this will help me make those products. And I can't say enough about the quality from Oak Stills. If you guys have ever bought from them, from them, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you got. Did it come in as advertised? As far as I'm concerned, they undersold and overdelivered here with this. So I really like this. If you guys liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. You want to see me running this thing? Subscribe. Have an awesome week. Cheers.